got looking friends and thank you for joining me for another video so we're back in the house of scrap we're doing our scrapbooking housekeeping and a little bit of fix and file where necessary we're on album 12 and this is the second album of 2018 I don't think I mentioned in the previous video, album 11, that that was the first album of 2018, but I think it's quite obvious. But yeah, this is album number two of 2018. And I managed to get 30 layouts into the album and it's another one of those Project Life polka dot, uh, dotty, spotty albums. So uh, this is the first one. It's a framed, is it a framed one? It's not a framed one. It's um, takes your cardstock, top left to bottom right with filled corners again, lots of splatter. Put it live type cards here, wood piece, tiny wood alphas, thickers here, map printed ones. This is um, vellum, it's like a vellum type piece. I've got oh, and this texture green texture cards up underneath that, and then some uh, pattern paper here and dotty pattern paper. Oh, and here, this is tissue paper, so we've got a lot going on here. Uh, phrase stickers, those lovely um, metal stars from Tim Holtz metal arrow as well and another metal piece here and this little puffy here came from um a chamel box of cranes as probably did those two little uh, creatures there like uh, butterflies or whatever they are washi tape here and this looks like a piece of packaging from a cardboard box another metal piece here butterfly with thread around it another one of those little puffies and um, this is just documenting a a wall lizard that we get uh, in Ventnor here on the Isle of Wight. So there's um, a car park in Ventnor and on the wall you always see these uh, wall lizards. And this is, I remember this because it's actually on my birthday and it was, uh, was that 2010? Yeah, 2010. So that was 2010. Um, and I, I still remember that. I just I don't know why, but I remember it being my birthday. I think we were probably going down to the local pub for our lunch. So yeah, that's that one. And then we've got this one, which is a grid type layout with... Um, punched out circles here to match the album that these came out of <laughs> puffies lots of puffies here all these things are puffies then we've got buttons um, a poor wood piece there this is a wood piece here um, a wood arrow um, yeah so I've obviously this is a framed layout with red and uh, textured cardstock and I've obviously um, I think this must have been a sketch or something and I've decided I've punched out all the elements from the uh, circle punch and then I've got a doily here a little metal heart another metal arrow hide in there Baker's twine Baker's twine looped around the photo I did that on another layout didn't I? I must have enjoyed doing that and then this is just um, mum sent over somebody their very own personalized towels so there they are sitting on their personalized towels Um phrase stickers a little bit stamping here another wood button there yeah I really like this one it's kind of like although it's a brown background to match the doggies it's really colourful with the um, pattern paper that I've used to punch out. So yeah, really nice one, I like that one. So this is Spring Fever. So after getting all the snow at the beginning of the month, it's nice to see spring-like weather. So this was March 2018. Centrally placed texture cards up with pattern paper. Project Life card. These are cut out from a pattern paper. Metal florals here with some uh, thread. Metal bird. Is that hummingbird? Oh, and I've done what I know I've been doing a lot of, which is... You know, create that little cluster there by tearing, the, tearing and stapling the paper card and um, adding a stamped image or an embellishment. And in this case, embellishment with thread. Um, splatter, ink splatter. These are those lovely textured layered daffodils that came in one packet. And I had a few of those. I, I really liked them at the time. It may have been um, K and Co, but I'm not sure. Metal piece here, Tim Holtz. Another metal piece there. Foam glittered lowercase alpha there it's lovely pattern paper with the buzzy bees on it and then this is uh, elvis and bud just enjoying a little bit of sunshine there this is a um stamped layout so this is red cardstock with yeah, orange textured cardstock and i think this might have been a stamping challenge not sure i've stamped the whole of this background here it's all been stamped um and then this is a thick as that thick as map um, alphabet set and these Tim Holtz stars I've used here quite a few of them actually <laughs> and then another metal piece from Tim Holtz there wood doggy these hearts are Tim Holtz layered lots of layering here with a pattern paper and this is um with the boys are waiting for something 
not sure whether we oh I think we're probably outside Shelfleet Sharp on here on the island I don't think I've journaled on here have I I don't think I've journaled can't actually see a date either oh there's a date there it is can't quite read it but it's there um can't see that I've written where we are on here it's not on the back either so yeah I'm pretty sure it looks like Shelfleet Sharp it's a shop in the local area where we live Okay, so this is another framed layout with this poor print uh, pattern paper here. And this is a 8 by 8 piece of doggy themed pattern paper that I've, looks as I've torn and spread across the page. This does look like a scrap lift or a sketch or something, the, the way it's been designed. So it looks as I'm doing a couple of clusters here with the same pattern papers. Um, this is a wood piece here, little um, paw um, bone embellishment pieces here, wood paw, wood bone. A little tag here with thread around it just this kind of four by four ish size photo of the boys i don't think it's quite four by four um foam glittered alphabet here long title uh, dog house here and um, and this is please can i have my toy back <laughs> and his buddy was absolutely desperate to get the tugger toy back from elvis and elvis must have been teasing him a little bit <laughs> <laughs> you probably know from our previous layouts that Buddy wants all the toys all of the time. That one. Well, this is a, a striking one, isn't it? So this is black and white chalkboard type pattern paper. It's a lovely picture of Elvis here. Tracing paper, layered pattern papers, frame here, probably cut in two. One of those Tim Holtz hearts there. The little alphabet, wood alphabet set and the large wood alphabet set with a wood heart. Doggy embellishment, wood paw, bone, I keep saying paw, bone, paw, camera, heart. And uh, the journal is just here in this little frame. And it fills my heart with joy that Elvis is so well. That was in March 2018. And this one is Bath, so Buddy looking super cute on National Puppy Day. This is a half and half page with another large doily here. Some layering of papers, phrase, stickers, wood heart, wood paw, wood bone. <laughs> oh, and this could be a... Not sure whether that's a Bamble Fox piece or not. Um, probably not, because I don't think I knew. Of, oh, did I know about them at that time? I'm, I must admit, I'm not sure. It, it may not. It may not have been Bamble Fox. It was probably another brand. Metal piece here, wood doggy, wood tag again. A journaling piece here, some thread going on, puffies, and I've, obviously I've placed this um, pattern paper vertically on the page with a slight gap here to show the textured card. The, card stock showing through now that's something I, I do like to do actually I like the design of it uh, quite a lot as well as the half, full half and half pages tracing paper there as well this is uh, Elvis and Bud in the garden so um, wood title here texture card stock some of those 2 by 12 pieces there layered again I've done the same thing where I've left some of the texture card stock showing and I've stamped little butterflies I think they are that's a stamped image there with a button in the middle, buttons, buttons, dog tag, um, flare piece on top of a wood house, some a little bit of layering going on with the pattern papers here, stamped doggy here, and that's a lovely moment in time captured of my boys, and another doggy stamped here. This is Bud, we light up my life. Buddy does like to mooch in this section of the garden. Yeah, he was probably being really cheeky. <laughs> White textured cardstock, pattern paper placed over that in a frame type layout. Tiny alpha, wood alpha again, again here with the uh, hot air balloon. Some tags here. Vellum, I think that is, or t yeah, vellum, maybe tissue, no, it's vellum. Um, layering, a, a four by four photo layering, torn edges. Light bulb paper clip, arrow paper clip, flare piece, puffy heart um light bulb there, <laughs> wood piece here, project life card, and uh puffy camera and another metal piece here from Tim Holtz. And uh I've added my thread here, my baker's time, but I haven't set an eyelet there. This one came pre-done, I would imagine. Oh, I love this layout. Yeah, it's one of my all-time favourites. I do like a tone-on-tone -tone layout, and this white one particularly I really like. So this is Elvis in the snow, and I, it may have been a monochromatic challenge. Can't quite read what that says. We had heavy snowfall twice in March, well on springtime. <laughs> so, grey texture cardstock, white texture cardstock, large white doily, tissue paper layering. This is a Bramble Fox piece. 
I believe. Doggy white doggy themed embellishments there. I've punched out um tracing paper stars there and stapled them. And I've done stapling here as well. And all these little gems across the bottom. A uh, white tag with uh, a little bit of ribbon there. Same here. And stapling there as well. So yeah, absolutely love this. Um yeah, I would like I should have that in a frame on the wall really. Puppy chaos. <laughs> <laughs> a new took a toy for Easter. Somehow Elvis managed to grab it first and keep hold of it. Not for long, though, I should think. <laughs> so you can see that Buddy is not at all happy that Elvis has got the tug a toy and is teasing him. <laughs> Three photos, slightly less than four by six. Pattern paper here and then another vertically placed strip of pattern paper with the, the pattern paper shown through again on the left there. Um two pieces created here from the textured card stocks one for the title one for the journaling chamel box of crayons wood bone button stars twine wood paw wood doggy twine ray stickers and journaling and a little bit of stamping in between these areas i like that one it's funny ah this is me doing my little trampolining so this is nice pan paper isn't it beautiful um yeah, top left to bottom right again with quite an emphasis on this section here. So title up here, two punched out tags, a flare piece, a metal star, grey stickers, metal star, metal heart here, Project Life type card, large doily again, 8x8 eight eight scalloped piece of pattern paper, unicorn paper clip, <laughs> never thought I'd use one of those. A little banner piece here for the title, for the, um, well it says Ashbourne Show and that was in 1993. Um, floral tag piece here and this is yeah so when I was younger quite young sort of about nine years old till I was a teenager I did trampolining so this must have been they must have had these mini trampolines at the show and I was doing showing my moves off probably a little bit of stamping here twine lovely like that one this is my nephew when he came to visit so this is a half and half page again with a slight gap left well the gap here has been left all the way around and a thinner gap as well I do like to do that as I've said already this was an Alice in Wonderland themed sticker set or something that I got from somewhere and I've used that on here and here and um, this was about my nephew loving really liking a large giant cup of tea and uh, my husband let him use his oversized cup and saucer when he visited that's the Shimmel Alphas again and um, pattern paper I like this where I've done the half and sort of half and half and then the placement of the large piece at, um, to the right of the page. I like that a lot. These were sort of tea themed chipboard pieces that I had and wood ones as well. So I obviously threw them on this page because personally I'm not a tea drinker. Little gold <laughs> dots there for the tea pouring out. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, and again here I've done that again. So, yeah, I can't, I'm looking for the date. Oh, there it is. There's the date. Yeah, that's a lovely one. That I love that alphabet from Michelle, very from Chanel, very uplifting alphabet. So, this is me at um, the Beatles Story Museum in Liverpool, and they had this interactive section where you could cross the road like the Beatles did. Um, and I've put here Abbey Road, Liverpool in those small alphas, wood alphas. I love those. This came from this chipboard glitter. Oh, that just came off. Chipboard glitter alpha I've used here, and a different foam glitter alpha here. Um, Beatles badge, flare piece, boom box there, metal boom box. Um, this is a Project Life type card that I've done the journaling on. Pattern papers layered. The two four by six photos, four hearts, one for each beetle. I was doing that then. Do that now. Metal piece, washi tape, paper clip. Lovely button here like a large kind of button and then this little bit here is cut out from pattern paper i had a music themed pattern paper pad and this has been cut out and stuck on there and then i've even got this little guitar embellishment on there so yeah I like that one a lot this is um, another throwback layout so this is the early 1990s at london zoo Ooh, that needs glue in i'll show you the layout first so another half and half page with a slight frame in here that i've done I had a stamp set with um, zoo animals on it, so that's what this is, um, with the giraffes there. Um, yeah, this I, I like the I really like the um, look of this layout. It pleases the eye or my eye. I don't know whether I've followed a design of some kind, but I really like it a lot. It's that again, isn't it? It's that placement of the vertical piece here, and then this piece slightly over to the right. Project Life type cards, I think. Chipboard alpha set, glitter domes, puffies, phrase sticker. 
flare piece and then I've obviously stamped the details on this piece here and uh, this is craft cardstock this is um, yeah I like this one a lot so that is going to need I could just staple that I? I was going to say it's going to need a bit of repair but I think I'm just going to staple it across one of the grey pieces there you probably don't notice it so much not that it matters because I, I like it as a design element anyway but then I have to ask the question as to whether that's stuck down and it is so I think that'll be fine yeah so this one is my brother he's a bit adventurous my brother unlike me I'm not adventurous at all he likes to go all over the world and cycle and things and this is a event that he take, took part in which is an extreme event I believe and um, very challenging indeed blue textured cardstock pattern paper again placed on the left side sort of half and half with a little gap here this is Chamel paper craft cardstock Four by six photo um clear stickers small wood alphabet wood piece wood cycles here and all travel themed wood pieces here and this is like a textured sticker that's got like a passport on it and this has been cut out from the pattern paper and i've just written on there about this was in 2017 in nepal <laughs> this is wooden elvis uh please form an orderly queue so this is a tiny foam alpha set that i had and this is that um Wisecrack, I think it's called, Vickers Alphabet set that I had several packets of. <laughs> so, pattern paper, top left to bottom right again, kind of. This looks like a 6x6 six six pattern paper piece or just a scrap. Project Life card, Project Life card, wood paws, wood doggy, wood bone, <laughs> tiny wood alpha again, Project Life card. And I've just said Elvis and Buddy are very fond of meal times, does that say? Yeah, <laughs> this is a little dog bowl, puffies, um, washi tape in the middle there, and just layered, yeah, just a little bit of layering there. Yeah. This is um, Sea View um, Wildlife Encounter here on the Isle of Wight, which is gone now, it's not there anymore. Mum and I visited, and this is just documenting the flamingos, pink flamingos. So this is that western themed glitter alphabet set that I really liked a lot, even though it's pink, perfect for pink flamingos. and. The gals of the 1950s rock and roll scene always say mingos rather than flamingos. <laughs> so that's why I did that title and also it made it, it made, meant that it fitted on there perfectly. Light blue textured cardstock, pink textured cardstock, enamel dots in each corner, a little bit of um, a, a cluster here going across with the washi tapes, phrase stickers, wood arrow staples here as well. Tur this is tur tracing paper, four by six six by four photos phrase stickers i've punched out a little tag there and i've set an eyelet as usual and some baker's twine flamingo paper clip flamingo paper clip <laughs> wood camera this looks like a project life card washi tape so yeah that's a fun layout it's a shame that place is not there anymore uh so the last two years have been difficult since we lost billy you have had some ill health but we got through it and you are now well now you will soon be 12 years old and you have body oh my gosh so this is a grid type layout again uh green textured cardstock red textured cardstock it looks as though i've ruched up some tissue paper here doilies again project life card a little some vellum used here those tiny alphas wood alphas wood piece wood heart metal tim holtz metal t oh no that might not be tim holtz that's a metal heart with two paws on it Project Life card. Um, yeah, wood stars here, uh, player piece, doggy wood piece, banner. So all my favourite things really, even today, all my favourite things are, are kind of like wood, metal, flare, you know, um, just a texture with the thread and everything and the grid type layout and the products that I like, all, all here. <laughs> Uh, cacti so I, had, I don't think I have got my cacti anymore they didn't last forever but I did do quite well with them for a while and I was quite proud of that because I'm not green fingered another layout with the pattern paper placed to the left there stamping here uh, puffies and glitter chipboard chipboard title there four by four photo of my cacti and I've just said why well, so I'm never going to be green fingered I am rather proud of how I've nurtured my cacti collection over the years most have survived yeah that's not quite the case now though <laughs> a little I think this little pot of cacti probably came from the project life app a little watering can punched out there puffy flare piece with a wood house um underneath it and uh, yeah documenting my cacti so this is rock and roll themed layout again i must have been enjoying doing this at the time 
um, black textured cardstock, red textured cardstock, stamp some shoes there, washi tape, ribbon, lots of stamping here, metal wood, Tim Holtz pieces, not metal wood, metal Tim Holtz pieces, that Fitzgerald glitter alpha there, uh, writing straight on the page here, uh, this is a textured sticker with the uh, record player there, and this is stamping, and this is a badge or a flare piece with musical notes on it. Dancing at Preston Rock Roll Club on my birthday. Oh, so that's my birthday, yeah, I remember that now, yeah, I do remember that. Uh, this is Beer and Buses, so here on the island we have a, an event called Beer and Buses, it's organised by Camera, the, the real ale organisation to promote pubs. Um, and it's actually not happening anymore, but there is another one that happens, but it's not the same one. So basically vintage buses stopping at all the, the pubs on the island. Um, it's a really, really nice event. So I've done it in red, white and blue. Well, this is not white, it's more cream. Lots of stamping. And again, that similar design title here with the chipboard map alphas. Um, this is one of those um, ger German tag pieces, similar to the other ones that were interactive. I think it came from the same packet. Project Life card here. Photos of me with Elvis because with El Billy had passed away, and uh, yeah, it was. Um, oh, I've put the wrong date on because this I put twenty fifteen and it wasn't twenty fifteen. It was twenty seventeen because Billy had passed away. I need to change that. Yeah, because we did go in twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, and twenty seventeen. This uh, this might have been twenty sixteen. I'm not. I'm not sure. I need to go and check that. <laughs> Tags, flare piece here, foam, glitter, alpha. Uh, yeah, lots of stamping, like I say, wood pieces here and um, phrase stickers and the like. And yeah, that is definitely the wrong date. I need to go and check that. Uh, oh gosh, another throwback. This is me at the seaside. <laughs> this is at uh, Mablethorpe in uh, the east of the country, Lincolnshire. So um, colours that I probably wouldn't use, but because it's me as a little girl with my little bikini on, you know, that's probably why I've used these colours. And also I think I've used this pattern paper theme from this pattern paper here. It's kind of like under the sea pattern paper. Uh, texture cards, like texture cards. So I've even got a mermaid stamp here. No idea where that came from. Don't even know if I've still got that. Washi tape, enamel dots, wood pieces. Again, another large doily. I've still got some of those left. Foam, alpha, and I've used... Um, Baker's trying to create the lines for the writing there. Some sort of sea themed embellishments. Punched out my own tags, a bit of stamping here. Eyelets and uh, ribbon. Yeah, and uh, I obviously had some kind of, from somewhere, it may have been from a magazine or something, um, this onto the sea themed paper. Now more dots. Lace, ribbon, and a little bow there. <laughs> Mermaid wishes and starfish kisses make a splash i think i that came free with a magazine or something so i don't think i've got that anymore so i i don't really collect anything now but over the years i've collected tony raymond pottery which is british pottery so i've just documented a couple of my favorite things texture card stocks here and the owl money box and owl scissors and string holder form a small part of my beloved tony raymond pottery collection owl themed pattern paper here that those alphas again wood hearts two photos of the things that I like there. This is cork here. Um, this is um, like an owl mirror type pan paper. Um, like a metallic type. Punched out tags here. A wood owl with a heart on the top. And uh, that, uh, I obviously didn't have enough of that blue alpha for this title. So I put a red one there, but that's fine. <laughs> Chipboard owl there bright layout oh gosh this is mom's 70th birthday so she's now into her 80s <laughs> she i paid for her to have a do a tiger feed at the zoo here at the island the wild heart sanctuary and um, so this is a half and half page again him holds pieces there metal again punch my own tags punch circles here chipboard chipboard this must have come from a sticker sheet that is a sticker and i think i remember saving it to do this layout with white splatter because mum was giving milk to the tiger here wood piece and uh, yeah i do really like this design a lot another similar design here so this is two of my vintage bags uh, actually that's vintage not sure if that one is but this cherry bag that my friend bought for me for my birthday and this pineapple bag which it isn't i don't think that is vintage it was modern, but it looks vintage. This is a bright layout, isn't it? Gosh, red texture cardstock, half and half with the green and the yellow. Um, gems here. A little some cherry, lots of cherry embellishments and a handbag embellishment there. That's a sequin. Again, that same thing that I like to do. 
ink splatter here with the red and the gold, I think. Um, a little pineapple here cut out from, Pod, um, I think, Project Life app, paper clips. A little metal handbag, that Chanel title, Alpha handbag pan paper. <laughs> oh yeah, and rub-ons, they're rub-ons. I remember I had the packet of rub-ons. Gosh, oh, washi tape. Washi tape as well under the gems there and at the top. Another half and half page here. Special chair, chipboard. So this is the chair that sits outside my craft room. It's there now, just behind me. And Buddy always likes to sit on that. He doesn't do that so much now. He, because of his health conditions, he can't run up and down stairs. So um, usually if I bring him up here, he's under my desk in his basket nowadays. But yeah, he, he loves that chair. Half and half page again with this uh, sewing themed pattern paper and a similar, same from the same collection, a journaling piece here. So um, these are buttons. Um, those heart embellishments this is does it say handmade or something yeah i think so um just frame the two little small photos there project life type cards here wood house paper clips doggy <laughs> similar design to what i've been doing and again again here similar design so this is called photo shoot large wood alphas that i've inked a little bit to darken them this is stamping lots of stamping punched out stars um uh, pattern paper with the cameras, pattern paper with the cars, wood arrow, wood camera, me and the doggies here uh, with my husband's classic car. Yeah, another similar design. I was really liking that at the time, wasn't I? <laughs> so this is me. At, um, uh, uh, we went to a, there was a bar in London called Presley's back in the day in, when I was the first moved to London. And they always used to have Elvis discos there, and it was called it was called Presley's. It's not called that anymore. It's completely just a normal pub now. But back in the day, it was called Presley's, and it was Elvis Presley themed. It was like amazing. <laughs> so um, we used to, it used to have rock and roll every Sunday, and I think once a month it was Elvis. The same guy used to do the music. Um, yeah. So this was they had an all day a reunion in two thousand and eleven. So that was before we moved here to the island. And so yeah, that was me there enjoying myself. All this is all stamped. Um, red texture cardstock, all stamped. This is pattern paper, of course. There's a little bit of um, star vellum there, layering, wood stars, wood musical note, the badge, stamping, punch my own tag again, and set an eyelet and some twine. And yeah, that's a fun layout, isn't it? That's me at an Elvis disco, my happy place, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> so the final one for this album is this one of the boys so this is green texture card like again another pattern paper there camera and this was pets at home so they did a poll a poll poll i'm not sure how you say it um about favorite cat and dog photos and then they featured buddy and elvis here um so yeah <laughs> they just got featured so this is a foam glitter alpha paw wood paws same out uh, different glittered foam alpha bones doggies and i think i just um put the original poll on here and then my post i think and then that what they posted later on when the poll ended i think cats won actually dogs didn't win lots of little bit, bits of stamping here on this pattern paper that i've done and this is a puffy star I'm stamping again in places and a tiny little tag there and i punched out the other tag and this is the photo i posted of buddy Elvis and Buddy was chosen as a favourite. Oh, I don't know if it was the favourite or a favourite. I think it might have been the favourite. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my 30 layouts for album number two of 2018. So thanks for sticking with me. It's quite a long uh, video, this one. Uh, I'll go and check if anything needs sticking down. Most things, I think, are OK. And then uh, we'll be moving on to the next album of 2018. So once again, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>